because I um, published some articles and uh, in, accepted the interview by the Western media, so I can't go back to China. Um, <clears throat> Although China is my home home country, but I, I can I can go back. Um, I remember the in 1999 October, I accepted the interview by several Western media. One is AP, one is from Hong Kong, and another from Australia. Uh, October I remembered on October the 28th when I went to the apartments of Western reporters in Beijing. Um, I accepted the interview of the Australian reporters. After, immediately after we went out of the, the yard of the apartments, we were, um, we, I, I with another practitioners were arrest, were kidnapped immediately by the secret agent. They, um, they went out of uh, a black car um, parking beside the roads, and they uh, used the, the big motor uh, motorcycle blocked my block our ways, and they um, stretched us into the car and sent us to the secret um, detention center to interrogate a whole night because um, every. Uh, Western reporters in Beijing were monitored by the, the, by the CCP. They took, they take the Western reporters as spies in in China. They saw the, you know, um, it's a famous case then. Yeah, it, especially the Falun Gong practitioners and the other uh, dissid dissidents were not allowed, were not allowed. Um, be interviewed by the Western reporters. Um, although I myself experienced the uh, torture, the abusement, and even the five years imprisonment, but comparing to the persecution other uh, practitioners uh, have been experiencing is just the tip of the iceberg, uh, because many, many other practitioners were experiencing even more brutally persecution by the Communist Party. Um, till now, there's uh, over um, there's over three thousand and three hundred and eight uh, documented uh, case of uh, I mean the persecution to death case were reported by the Clear Wisdom uh, It's uh, website of Falun Gong. It's called clearwisdom.net. You can visit the website to get more information. And uh, even an uh, unbelievable thing is um, it's reported that the CCP uh, even uh, uh, harvest the organs from the living body of the Falun Gong practitioners to make money. Um, many witnesses have stand out to to prove this and uh, um, the famous uh, human rights um, lawyer from Ca Ca Canada named uh, David uh, David Ma Matters and uh, another guy called uh, uh, another uh, gentleman called uh, David Kugel um, have, have made have written a report to prove this if you are interested, you can read the report online. They um, collect many, many um, evidence to prove that uh, the bloody um, organ harvesting is true. It's um, the evil. It's the it's the most uh, evil thing happened in this planet. It's called. And uh, <clears throat> in fact, uh, Falun Gong is very peaceful exercise rooted in traditional Chinese culture. I started to practice Falun Gong from January 1998. At that time, I was a senior student in Tsinghua University. And uh, I feel that it really benefits both mind and the body of the people. Uh, it's very peaceful, including five sets of exercise, meditation, and uh, um, it let people uh, 
to give up the the bad desire to ba the bad attachments and to gain the peace inward. Um, the um, and it can um, make people very healthy. So it attracted uh, more and more practitioners. Uh, from 1992, the Falun Gong is uh, was introduced to the public, and uh, to 1999, shortly seven years, it attracted, uh, um, according to the official statistics, uh, about 70 to 100 mil, uh, 70 to 100 million Chinese people started to uh, practice Falun Gong. I think this is the most important reason why CCP started the, started the persecution because the member of the Falun Gong practitioners increases so fast um, due to the jealousy, too, especially the, the former dictator, I mean the, the leader of CCP, the Communist Party, named Jiang Zemin, he is very jealous of Falun Gong and Falun Gong's founder. Uh, uh, Mr. Li Hongzhi. So he started, he and uh, the CCP um, controlled all the machine of the country, started the brutal persecution. Till now, the persecution uh, last, la la lasted over 10 years. Many, many Falun Gong practitioners, many, many families were involved in this, in this um, brutal persecution. Even um, over 3,000 practitioners were persecuted to death, and and many many practitioners were even harvest were even harvest the organs when they when they were still alive. Uh, today I, I I I told you my story. I just want to um, let more people know the truth of persecution of Falun Gong and. Um, what I want to let more people um, to to visit our web the, our website clearwisdom.net or falundafa.org uh, and uh, to let more people can have this access to read our books to or to read the uh, experience sharing of Falun Gong practitioners to know um, what kind of people the practitioners are. And uh, um, you can find what um, can benefit you, I believe. The principle of Falun Gong is truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. It's a universal principle for everyone, for every nation, for every uh, people, I believe. And uh, at last, I appeal um, more and more um, uh, governments, or international organizations or public media to can uh, stand up to say no to CCP and uh, to <clears throat> uh, to let them end the persecution of Falun Gong as soon as possible and to release the illegally um, arrested uh, Falun Gong practitioners as soon as uh, as possible immediately to release the, the Falun Gong practitioners. And uh, uh, I think the world will be become a better place for all the people. Thank you very much. Thank you.